everybody what's up what's up i'm just telling it like it is it's such a beautiful sunshiny day and i just thought i'd come out and get some sunshine and talk to y'all um hit that um, subscribe button that and them likes and share my channel thank you and for all of you all who have i really appreciate you very much um you know, I got some heat from some, certain people I knew about the last video I did about P. Diddy not going to prison. And um, a lot of people thought that I was for P. Diddy not going to prison. But I was like, where did I say that at, y'all? I'm like, I'm just laying down the facts. I'm just telling it like it is. So I got to just lay down the facts. I have an opinion just like you have an opinion. And whoever has an opinion, I have no problem with that, y'all. Okay? But don't come get mad at me because I'm just speaking my mind. I'm speaking what I feel within my spirit, you know? Because I'm not going to get mad at you. If you feel like P. Diddy is going to go down then okay, that's your opinion. I can't get mad at you, right? So I was like telling people that I know certain people, I'm like, get a grip, because you know me better than that. You know that if <clears throat> all these allegations of what P. Diddy is saying is true, you know that I'm not with all that evil crap, okay? But I can talk about evil, okay? And that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm talking about evil. Okay? And evil, you know, Beyonce says girls rule the world, but no, girls don't rule the world. Evil rules the world, baby. Evil. Money, power, corruption rules the world. And people in higher places rule this world. Okay, so if I feel like Diddy is not going to go down or he's not going to prison, why is it so hard for some people to believe that, okay? It shouldn't be that hard, okay? A lot of people said, well, Epstein, you know, went down. He went to prison. He did. But in my opinion, Epstein didn't have a strategy, y'all. P. Diddy has a strategy. He has a strategy, trust me. Everything that P. Diddy does, before he does it, he has a strategy. Okay? He's very strategic. And if you have any kind of spiritual uh, awareness, look in his eyes, y'all. You can tell by the eyes, because the eyes is the window of the soul. The eyes tell things about people that people don't always reveal. You can tell that he is that type of person that if he goes down, he's going to take a whole lot of people with him. Okay? He's going to take the head, the body, and the tail. Okay? And I always had this saying, if you want to put something to bed or you want to stop something, um that's happening that shouldn't be happening. I always had to say, you gotta go for the head first. Because you can wound the body, but if you don't go for the head, baby, the head is gonna attach itself back to the body and the show is gonna keep on rolling. You feel what I'm saying? So Diddy is a well strategic planner, okay? And this is, this is my opinion. This is what I feel, okay? He has a strategy. And I don't believe that um, Epstein had a strategy. In my opinion, he didn't have a strategy. He may have done all these, you know, wicked things. But I don't think that he had his back covered, y'all like P. Diddy. P. Diddy is a mastermind at covering himself, okay? And so, I'm not, <clears throat> I would tell you this, I am not for, for anyone doing wrong. I'm not 
because I, I really oppose Rome. I really oppose it, okay? But I would tell you, we live in a world where <laughs> it's so much of wickedness in high places, okay? And everybody does not get convicted that should be convicted in the judicial system. And people that shouldn't be convicted get convicted in the judicial system. And I think everybody can agree with me that justice is not always served in the judicial system. But in America, judicial system, it says that you're guilty or you're innocent, excuse me, until proven guilty. Okay? So all of these these are allegations that's coming against P. Diddy. And the reason the feds raided his house or his mansions is to get proof to get that investigation going so that they could get concrete proof that was st maybe stand up in the court of law to convict Diddy. But in my opinion right now, they don't have enough on him because if they really had enough on him, y'all, they would have arrested him. But they're, they're not going to arrest him until they have all their ducks in a row if he ever gets arrested, okay? I really don't believe he's going to get arrested. And if he does, he won't stay arrested. He won't stay, you know, in their jurisdiction for long. I don't see it happening to him, y'all. And I'm sorry if some people get mad with me. If you get mad with me, I, I can't help that, okay? I'm entitled to my opinion. Um, Diddy is probably got a tape on everybody that he's ever, ever been involved with. There are probably tapes that nobody has found even yet, okay? He's probably got tapes, even even the tapes that probably the uh, Fed Scott, he's probably, who, who's to say he don't have copies of those tapes, okay? Never thought about that, right? Because uh, if I, and thank God I'm not wicked. I'm not wicked. But if I was a wicked person and I was in that lifestyle that he was in and I was secretly taping people, I would have copies of those tapes, you know? And I'm sure he probably has them. I mean, this is my opinion, y'all. I don't know, but I'm just saying. I'm sure he has copies of those tapes, okay? But trust me. If P. Diddy goes down, he's going to go all the way up to the head, to the rest of the body, and to the tail. Because I'm sure that P. Diddy, the same thing that he's alleged done to everybody else, I'm sure someone has done that to him. And even though he appears to be the mastermind behind all of these alleged allegations there are people over him with power y'all that has created all of it so there are people over him that are very powerful and they've created everything that's going on in the industry okay He's not just the only one. Okay, so he has his, he has whatever P. Diddy knows that we don't know. All I can, all I can bet is that he has his ducks in the row, y'all. And I bet with Epstein, y'all, Epstein probably wasn't like, he probably, you know, didn't have that personality to bring anybody down. You know, he probably was just going to just 
take the fall for everything. But P. Diddy, you can look at his personality, baby. I can look at his eyes. I, 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 I can read his spirit, baby. He is not. If he goes down, mark my, my words, y'all. If he does, he's going to take a whole slew foot of people down with him. But I will tell you this. Because I know a lot of people feel like P. Diddy should be arrested. He should go down. I would tell you this. If he does not get arrested, if he does not go down, I do believe that all of us, even P. Diddy, we have to answer for anything that we have done because i do really believe that you reap what you sow you may not always reap everything you sow in this physical life you may not get convicted by man's law but guess what none of us can ever escape the conviction of the universe. All of us will reap what we sow. That is just how the universe works. If you are throwing out evil and you're doing bad things to people and you're causing a lot of bad energy, guess what? The universe is going to give the same thing you're putting into it. It's going to give you that back. And I don't know if y'all ever got a reading because I've gotten a reading before, you know. Um, I wouldn't get a reading from everybody. Because, you know, spiritually, I just don't trust everybody. I have to know that this person has a good heart, you know. But I got a reading one time. And my reading stated that I didn't have any karma debt, okay. And I asked this lady, I was like, what is karma debt, you know. Which I, I, in my spirit, I kind of knew, but I wanted her to say it so I could, it could be a confirmation. And she said, karma debt is when you have done something in your previous lifetime and you're in a different lifetime and you're going to reap what you did in your previous lifetime. And she said to me, Evidently, in your previous lifetime, you were a good person. You treated people right. You had a good heart. So you don't have any karma debt to reap in this life. And I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you. I'm so glad I don't have no karma debt. <laughs> because she told me those that do have karma debt, that they're going to reap what they sow of all the things that they did in their previous life. And I know everybody doesn't believe in, like, that we have more than one lifetime. I know everybody doesn't believe in reincarnation, but I believe in reincarnation because we are spirit and soul beings. I believe that when we physically pass away, Our spirit and our soul leaves this physical house of clay, but our spirit and soul lives on. And our spirit and soul is just reincarnated into another life's life. Okay. We may be another person, but we still have that same spirit and soul. So I definitely believe that because have y'all ever um, experienced where, you know, you had deja vu? You're like, dang, I've done this. I, I remember these same people around me. I said the same thing. This just seemed like I did this before. Well, what happened was in your previous lifetime, you saw ahead to your next lifetime. So you actually saw what you were going to do in your next lifetime before you got there. 
See, because we're a spirit and soul beings. We're not limited to just this time, okay? We're not, none of us is limited to just this time that we live in, you know. Our body is limited. Like my body, my physical body cannot go through this, okay? <clears throat> but my spirit and soul, man, can walk straight through it, y'all. If I was to get up out of my body, which is called astral projecting, I can walk through this, okay? I'm just saying, y'all. So, saying that, getting back to the subject, no one gets away with doing bad, okay? That's why I work hard in my life to check myself spiritually even check my deeds you know and I treat people right I treat people the way I want to be treated okay I don't run over people I don't abuse people I don't hurt people I don't lie on people I don't I try to help people you know the best way I can I'm because I know karma is real y'all I know it's real I know the spirit realm is real I know there's a life beyond this physical world okay I always knew it from a little kid on up to now but what even made me know that more that there's a spiritual um, life beyond this physical world is one time y'all I was this I was in my 20s I was sitting in someone's house okay in their living room and as I was sitting there with my physical eyes I could see like this little girl well she wasn't a little girl she was a young woman and she was dressed like, you know, like, y'all ever watch Little House on the Perry, how they dress? Well, she was dressed back in those days, okay? And she was materializing in front of me, and I was just sitting there. I was 20-something years old. I didn't understand it, but I was like, and she was materializing. I was just like, what the hell am I seeing? Oh, my God. And trust me, y'all, I know y'all want to say we, I was having... You know, people that don't understand the spirit realm, they always want to say that people are having um, illusions or, 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 or they're seeing things that aren't there. But that's not true, y'all. They always want to say somebody's crazy. That's not true. In fact, I've never been labeled as crazy or having illusions or anything, okay? I know what I experienced. It was real. And I don't say everything I've experienced real because some people just simply would just really think that I'm crazy. But <laughs> trust me, I'm far from it, okay? I may have a little ADHD, but that, trust me, I'm not crazy. Anyway, get back to the subject, y'all. I was uh, sitting there. I saw this lady, young lady. She appeared to be in her 20s, and she was materializing in front of me. And I was looking, and no, I was not on drugs. I've never done drugs for all y'all want to say. Maybe she was high, she was on drugs. No, nah, baby, I don't do drugs. Never did drugs, okay? She was materializing, and she was materializing in front of me, y'all, in my 20s. I mean, I've seen some things, but it's like, this was the first time I was, like, really seeing this, so, like, I didn't know what to think, but all I know is, is I'm watching her materialize into solid form, like you can see me, I'm watching her. I'm hearing her say, help me, help me. I can hear this now, y'all. 
I can hear this from the spirit realm into the physical realm. Help me. Okay, I was 20. Before I knew it, I jumped up and I ran out of this person's living room. So I was like, oh my God, I don't, oh, I don't understand this. But looking back, I understand it now because I've grown more spiritually to understand it. Even though I'm still growing, I'm still growing spiritually. We all, we're going to ever, forever grow, you all. As long as we live, we're going to learn something new spiritually. But I understand it now. And what this young lady was saying that had physically passed on, she was asking me to pull her over. from the supernatural realm into this physical world. She was, she was stuck, y'all. She was stuck between the physical world and the spiritual world. And her spirit, her soul was not at rest. And she didn't wanna, she didn't wanna accept the fact, y'all, that she was considered dead in the sense of how people say it in this physical world when people pass on they're dead but really you're never dead your physical house of clay has passed on but your spirit and soul lives forever your energy so you can never die okay you never can die so when I had that experience y'all that let me know even the more, that was even a more confirmation that the spirit realm is very real. And that even let me know that because it is real, that everything you do to people, bad, you will reap what you sow. So there is no getting away. There's man's laws. And there's the universe laws. Man's laws may make it where you get away with a lot of stuff. But the universe, you ain't gonna get away with anything. And saying that, I'm just tell like this. If you like my content, subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Don't forget to hit it. And share my videos, y'all. My channel talks about everything, okay? Because life is about everything. I don't talk about one thing. Um, I talk about everything. Yeah. But anyway, I'm out. Tulu. Have a good day. And for all of y'all who subscribe to me, and for all of y'all who make comments, and for all of y'all who like my videos, um, I send peace, love, prosperity, and happiness your way. I send all that energy your way. And I thank you very, very, very much. I'm out. I'm just telling it like it is. Tulu, don't hate the message, baby. Don't hate the message. I just see it, call it how I see it. And this is the beautiful scenery. I'm going to walk now. But before I walk, y'all, I wanted to sit down and talk to y'all. All right, Tulu.